Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, today's video was inspired by a post I did on Instagram. I had posted this picture here of me wearing these black jeans, kind of like a jean pant mix, I would say. And it just made me think, you know what? These have become like my new favorite. So I asked you guys if that's something you would like to see, kind of like my fashion, like basic favorites, I guess. I don't even know what to call this video, but it's basically like my go-to pieces that I link again and again on Instagram or that I'm always talking about. You always see me wearing kind of the same thing. It's like the ones I've really found that I love and work for me. So I just keep going back to them and wear them. So I thought I would share them with you guys. I'm gonna break this up into a couple of different categories or the video would be really long. So today we're gonna be talking about like pants and jeans. My go-to, whether it be white jeans, cause I often get asked about white jeans um, cause you see me wearing them a lot when I go on vacation. Um, regular jeans, you know, like kind of work pants, skinny pants, you know, again, just my like go-to basics. So let's just start off with the pants that, you know, again, inspired this. I'm looking at my phone here for the post. These basically, to me, kind of look like a pant, but yet they're definitely in the jean category because they have pockets, you know, in the front and the back and, you know, the zip and button and everything like a jean. And I, they are considered jeans, but they kind of have that velvety, like real smooth, finish to them. It's definitely not a denim feel to them. And I feel like they're so um, pigmented, you know, dark, nice black color that you could definitely wear them like a pant, you know, and I feel like they would look like that. And they're really comfortable. I'm going to look into this brand more actually for just the regular denim and see if I like them. And I like that these are ankle length as well. I just feel like that's the style of like pant and jean overall I go to because I can find, I can wear that with many different types of shoes, whether it's boots, booties, high heels, flats. I mean, you know, you don't have to think about it. So let's just keep with the skinny kind of ankle theme going. These are my most recent pair and I had shown these in my recent haul video and I really like these. They're a navy. I showed them on Instagram as well. They're just a very classic looking pant. I got a petite so they would be ankle length because I again wanted to be able to wear them with flats or heels. If you're taller than 5'5", five five, I would just get the regular. These come in several different colors, so I love that. They're just like a classic, nice fit. They are a little bit thicker than your average pant, but I like that um, for these particular ones. Another pair of black ones you guys see me wear all the time. I absolutely love these. I got these a couple of years ago, so they actually don't make this specific kind. But what I do is link to a kind that is very, very similar. I mean, it's one of those, like, if something happened to these, I know I could go get these other ones and they would look practically identical. So I love these for just a go-to, very comfortable, don't have to think about it pant. They're definitely my go-to black pant that I know will go with a variety of tops, sweaters, jackets, you name it. And again, one of those pants I don't have to think about. Those are the ones I just constantly grab for. So these are really nice if you definitely want just a nice skinny ankle black pant. Love these. Of course, they come in other colors as well. And the material is definitely a little bit different um, than the previous pair I showed. So let's talk trouser style or kind of like workwear inspired. I used to wear this brand of pants, no kidding, I probably had five pair in all different colors. These were my go-to work pants when I worked in an office. Now, I definitely dressed up every day. I didn't have to always wear a suit unless I was going to like a big meeting or something, but I loved these pants because they were comfortable and they just went with everything. So these are the Express Editor pant. Now, I have not purchased these in a few years, but as far as I can tell, they're the same they've always kind of been. To me, you can't go wrong with this. It's just a classic go-to in a trouser kind of style. They also make a skinnier style, but I've never tried those. So if you're just looking for that nice flat front, you know, hook closure, zip, trouser style, these pants are great. And again, they're really comfortable. Some of my most recent pair, and I actually don't have a picture of me in these. I know I wore them at Christmas to Christmas Eve service with like a black, lace. Um, you can see the top. I posted that picture on Instagram, but I guess I didn't show the bottom. It was like a black lace Ralph Lauren top. Um, these are really great. They're a little bit long, um, but I just love the material of them. So these have definitely been my most recent go-to as far as that nice, just don't have to think about it, trouser style pant. Um, because I like to have different kinds of pants. You know, to me, 
different tops go with different style of pants. So to me, you need a skinny and you need a trouser style. I don't think this picture does justice to these pants because for some reason on the website, they always show them with flats and like barely brushing the floor, like too short. These pants are not short, I promise you. I got them in the regular length because I always wear a trouser style pant with a high heel. And if I wear a high heel, like my regular pump or something, um, they're just barely off the grounds. I mean, they could probably be hemmed like a half inch, but I don't think it's quite worth it. They're not dragging the ground that much. And I like to only see like the very tip of my shoe. And I'm afraid even if I went a half inch, they'd end up being too short. So again, I don't think these pictures do these pants justice. They definitely have like a nice drape to them. Um, Again, if you are shorter than me, shorter than 5'5", five five, I would get the petite then, but I feel like all these pictures always make them look like they're wearing a petite, and they don't look like that at all. They definitely look like a regular, you know, grazing the floor kind of trouser style pant. So that takes care of pants. Again, those are just kind of my go-tos, you know, for pants, and everybody kind of has like a million different styles at each retailer, um, but these are just the specific ones that I find I like. So moving on to jeans, definitely since about a year ago, I think I purchased this right before we went on our Alaska cruise, um, Cut From The Cloth has definitely been a favorite. Now again, that's one of those brands, there's many different styles within the brand. So I like the Connie, um, I need to venture out and try some other ones, but these are the ones you guys see me wear most of the time. They have them in two different ways, depending on the retailer. I link different ones depending on if they're sold out. Some retailers have a certain style, some don't. Um, the ones I wear a lot have like a tiny bit of distressing, but they're that frayed cuff. And then there's another pair that looks identical that doesn't have the uh, distressing on the pocket at all. But these have definitely been my go-to. And then I pretty much switch off with American Eagle jeans. I've worn American Eagle for years. They just fit my body type nice. So if you ever see me in a post with jeans or you know just wearing jeans, I'm probably wearing American Eagle or cut from the cloth. And I usually go between two different styles of American Eagle, either the skinny or the high rise jegging. Now there's all kind of jegging. I link the ones that I wear below because I mean, it can almost be mind boggling. You have to really read the print to see what you're getting on their website and the finishes will often be different. So even if I've linked some, um, and they look similar to what, you know, I'm wearing in a post. Well, by the time, you know, you go look a month later, they may have a different finish. You know how American Eagle is. I feel like they're always changing their washes slightly. So I have two pair that I go back and forth. I have a really dark pair and then I have a really light pair. And the really light pair is very soft too. It's a little bit different material, but I always get a short in American Eagle as well because I like them to be ankle length and I find their jeans to be pretty long otherwise. And these do not hit me like above the ankle. These are literally like right at the ankle for me. So I couldn't find them on the website yet, but I know I've often linked to these. And when people are asking me about white denim, um, I always recommend the ones from Loft. However, they don't have them on the site right now, but for years and years, they always bring them back the same one. You can get the curvy fit or the modern fit, either in like a boot cut or the skinny. And I like the modern fit. I've had those in years. I just don't have any right now because the ones I had were too big. So I donated them, but I like those as well. I just couldn't bring up a picture because they didn't have them on the website. The ones you've been seeing me wear the most lately, and those are the ones I get a lot of questions about, are also cut from the cloth. They do have a tiny bit of distressing around the knees. You would not know it from the website because the picture doesn't pick it up unless you zoom way in. Now, if that bothers you, then I would go for the loft. I'll also show another pair here in a minute that is a good alternative that I like as well. But I'm just kind of in a cut from the cloth kind of thing right now and I like those. A lot of things with jeans for me is what makes me like them is how do they fit me in the waist? Because I have hips but I have a smaller waist so a lot of jeans gap. And that's why I like a little bit mid-rise to high-rise jean depending. I don't like it too high-rise but I like it slightly below my belly button or kind of right at because I find then they're not slipping down or every time I bend over, it doesn't feel like my pants are falling down. Now, the cut from the cloth regular, I do have to wear a belt with those because I feel like they stretch out so easily. So it's like after one wear, I always have to wear a belt no matter what because they do stretch. Oh, I'm glad I brought that up. 
A lot of people ask me this about cut from the cloth, about sizing down. It really depends on the fit and that style of jean. So for instance, I have a white pair and a regular pair that are both the same style. One I sized down in, one I didn't. So the white I did not size down, but the regular denim color I did, which is so weird. So unfortunately, you're not going to know until you try them whether you need to size down or not. It really seems like it's you know, hit or miss on the different style and different colors, you know. So this is another brand I like, Not Your Daughter's Jeans, and I like these for the colored denim. Now, it's a little early, so they've not brought them back yet, but they are really great for having bright colored denim, and there's usually like, I mean, a half a dozen or more colors you can choose from. I have like a green pair and a royal blue pair. I actually need to get another royal blue pair because my other ones are too big for me now, but Again, I like those in the petite. I feel like they fit me a little bit better. I don't know if it's because of the way they have the slimming effect in the Not Your Daughter's jeans, like in the stomach or, you know, the back or whatever. I feel like they feel really long-waisted on me otherwise. Like they'll gap in weird places, so I just get the petite. Again, I like them ankle length anyway. You can get like an olive green, a tan, and maybe like a light pink, and then they'll start bringing in like the coral and the green and the brighter colors, I think, as we move into spring a little bit more. I see them on the website every year. Um, and then the white jeans, too. I really like these white jeans, so I think I might be testing those out soon. I am always on the hunt for the perfect white jean. Like, I stalk everybody I follow on Instagram. If they show a pair of white jeans, I'm always like, what are those, you know? Especially if they're body type or if they're a little bit, you know, around my height or something. I'm always looking for the perfect white jean. I think we all are. Isn't that one of those things, like, one may be a little thin, one may be a little thick, you know, the ankle, or it may, you know, be bunchy, or I don't know. I just, I feel like I could have five pairs of white jeans, which I think currently I have three, maybe, because like I said, I donated some, and I'm always looking for another pair. It's just something about white jeans. So I hope that helped and maybe answered some questions you had about some of my like go-to basics because it's definitely something I get a lot of questions on. And again, I just hope you found it helpful. Everything will be linked below. If you're not already subscribed, please do so so you don't miss any future videos and definitely so you don't miss any future videos kind of in this little series. I'll be doing like kind of tops and sweaters next. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and we'll see you next time. Bye.